Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another comparison versus video, and we are looking at a hoo hoo, the 48 count brush marker set, and Bic. <laughs> so I bought these maybe about I don't know, two weeks ago, and I've been having a lot of fun with them. I've already reviewed them, and I definitely like them. But I received a comment asking, okay, now that you've tried out the Bic Intensity markers, what should I do? Should I get the Bic Intensity markers or the Ahuhu markers? And while I have an opinion on that, I still wanted to do a comparison in order to help you guys decide what should you get. So let's put that over there. And this is the character I'll be working on today. I drew her up digitally in Paint Tool Sci, printed her out onto my Express It 8.5 by 11 blending card paper. <laughs> and I'm gonna be doing one side a hoo hoo and the other side Bic. But first, let's try color matching. So I have a scrap piece of paper here. I'm gonna do one side titled Bic and the other Uhuhu. So the character that I designed is basically a blood elf sort of design from WoW or World of Warcraft for those who might be unfamiliar with WoW, though I highly doubt hardly anyone is. So I'm doing YR4 for skin on the Uhuhu as well as BR3 for shading. Now the tough part is finding colors that match that on the big side. Let's see. Honestly, I don't even know why I say let's see as if I have an unlimited amount of options because I really don't. Basically, I have Peach Parfait which I feel is a little too much on the pinky or maybe orangey side, but it's what I've got, so. And then to shade, honestly, all I've got is the pink flamingo. So this should certainly make for an interesting <laughs> comparison. So basically blood elves tend to have glowy green eyes. So I'm gonna do anise or GY6 for the eyes which is kind of on the yellowish side, but then I'm gonna do greener outer tones. So like GY5 and GY1. And then on Bic, I'll be doing Lemon Bliss, which is basically like a highlighter yellow color. And then Lime Sorbet and Margarita Green. And I'm thinking red hair. The only problem is I don't have many reds on the Bic side, so have the rambunctious red, which is basically just red. And then I've got prairie berry, which isn't too bad. It's a little too dark and a little too much on the purple side, but it'll work. Then her armor will be like a teal kind of color with some strong aqua. All right, and I think that completes my color matching. Obviously some colors are super different from the others, namely her skin tone is going to be super different. Um, her hair color may end up being quite different as well. And perhaps the gems, cause these pinks aren't exactly lining up too well. <laughs> so let's go ahead and clear this messy desk and start coloring. All right, so I have a hoo hoo on the right, Bic on the left, and as always, I'll be starting with my skin coloring. Personally, I'm not too crazy about this sort of color for skin, but when it comes to the Uhuhu brush marker pack, as of right now, of this video, Uhuhu only has the 48 count pack released. The 72 pack count is coming out soon. I don't know exactly when, but as far as peachy skin tones go, this isn't really the best sort of option. I feel like it's more on the orangey side or like super vibrant kind of side. But the cool thing is, is you can mix colors when it comes to Uhuhu. And I don't know how many of you all follow Creative Kara, but you can find her on Instagram. And she made an awesome post. I believe she still has it up too. Just about how she was able to achieve better skin tone colors by mixing like this color with a purple color, like a, I think she mixed it with mauve. mauve. I don't even know how to say that color name. Mauve. 
and she just achieved a more natural sort of skin tone look. But given the fact that I am coloring with big markers and I don't exactly have a whole ton of blending abilities when it comes to these markers, I'm not going to worry too much about overlaying colors just to achieve a more natural skin tone. Yeah. Big difference. <laughs> I honestly didn't think it would be this much of a difference. So yeah, skin tone on the left is coming out looking like my skin tone if I spent five seconds out in the sun. <laughs> Part of me feels like I should have just made the other side, the hoo-hoo side, just pink skin as well. Because I didn't think she'd come out this pink. <laughs> like she definitely looks a little sunburned not gonna lie make her lips like pink all right so blood elves have glowy eyes like all over so i'm gonna fill in with a yellow and then color the outer part green hopefully this effect works <laughs> so far so good okay not too bad i'm gonna see about adding like a yellowish tone of glow around it. Not sure if I'm going to be able to achieve that. No, looks like I just put green mascara around her eye <laughs> on the hoo hoo side. I guess I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the big side. All right. I mean, her eyes look like they're glowing. Just that glow doesn't seem to be transferring onto other parts of her face like it should, like it naturally would, I should say. All right, so moving on to her hair, which is red. And so usually a lot of people ask, which one would you recommend? Would you recommend Bic or Hoo Hoo? And it's hard for me to answer that question only because everyone has their own individual experiences and everyone has their own opinions of what's worth it and not worth it. And I also just feel that young and impressionable artists value the opinion of their favorite artists a little too much. And obviously there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, I'm not 100% comfortable with saying, well, you know, this is the brand I like better. And then someone thinking, oh, well, if Layla says that, then clearly that's the answer. And it's not. It's, it's the answer for me. And so that's why I try to stay kind of neutral when it comes to recommendations. And that's why I do these comparisons, so that you guys can decide for yourself what you think is worth it. As far as price comparison goes, so for the Bix, the Intensity 36 count set comes in at about $20, which in my opinion is really good. I mean, to me, that's pretty affordable. And then the Ahuhus are basically $15 more, coming in at about $34. Four thirty-five dollars for the 48 count set. And then of course there are cosmetic differences between these two markers. The most obvious I feel being the fact that the big markers are not dual ended. There's only one end, one nib, whereas the hoo hoo has a brush nib and a chisel nib. But they're also both non-refillable and are basically a one use kind of marker. So meaning that once you use it and it runs out of ink, you chuck it. And if you want that same color again, you buy a completely new pack. However, a hoo, hoo does run on the same color system as the Touch Twin, or maybe it's Twin Touch markers by Shinhan. And they have refillable ink, so, the hoo-hoos can technically be refilled and don't necessarily have to be a one-and-done type of marker. But after some time, your brush nibs will fray, as I've experienced. But the cool thing is, is you can take out the nib. I'm not going to do it now because I don't want to get ink on my hands. But if you get tweezers, you can take the nib out, turn it around, and put it back in because the nib is double-sided. So it kind of gives you double the life of the brush nib. But when both sides have frayed, you probably would want to get a whole new pack.
genuinely surprised at how well I was able to color match the armor colors. Didn't expect that. Like, clearly there's a color difference, but it's so minor that I'm really surprised. <laughs> what is this pink doing over here? This is an ahuhu, not a big. <laughs> okay, I'm also really enjoying this color scheme that I've got going on. Like, I'm just satisfied with the colors of the body armor. I didn't think the teal, aqua, and gold would go this well together. Just feels overall balanced in a way. Okay, so one thing I forgot to do was figure out what color I was going to do her hood in. So, did not color swatch for that or color match. So, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna do these blue colors for her hood and trim it in gold as well, just to like keep it consistent. All right, got the gold trim in on the hood. I'm having second thoughts. I just feel like this these blues might be weird, especially with how everything else is so matchy-matchy. I'm starting to feel like I should color the hood the same as her armor and stuff. Ooh, decisions, decisions. Okay, yep, I'm gonna play it safe. end it might be too much teal and gold but I don't know I'm liking it <laughs> all right played it safe and I really like it now I just gotta figure out a background I'm just gonna go with a cloud design and I'm gonna leave some white space above all right definitely a bit of a color difference between the two lightest blues of the Ahuhus and the Bix but eh, not a huge deal and that's that. I definitely enjoy the piece overall, even with the pretty noticeable skin differences. And like I said before, the teal and gold is just really doing it for me. I especially am happy with the pink gemstone that I went with. I feel it really draws a lot of attention and gives a pretty good break away from all the teal and gold. So yeah. So which side do you think looks better? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, maybe comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.